part two of my DVDs. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to part two, looking at my DVD collection, part one is available here and let's carry straight on with it, um, just taken from my shelf, no particular order, Dogma, if you see my top ten films, you'll know this is number three in my list, love this film, it's not available, I mentioned the time I must get it on Blu-ray, it's not available on Blu-ray over here, it's only had a US release, uh, which I think is region locked, so that's no good to me. So I'm stuck with the DVD for now, but yes, this is the Bare Bones release, and then I've also got a deluxe version of it. But yeah, love Kevin Smith, let's say, my third favourite film of all time, Dogma. Excellent film is Cameron Crowe's Almost Famous, um, based on his time working at Rolling Stone, uh, following round rock bands, a uh, fictional rock band in this one whose name has completely slipped my mind, Stillwater. Uh, it's two discs, got the theatrical version on disc one and the extended cut which is 35 minutes longer on disc two. It's just a really really good film. Great cast as well. Airplane 2 the sequel. Not as good as the first but very very funny anyway. A double disc set of Robert Rodriguez's El Mariachi and Desperado. So El Mariachi was the original film in this series as shot in Mexican Spanish, Latin, Latin American Spanish they call it on here. Um, some good extras show him talking about how he did particular shots. He does fantastic extras, Robert Rodriguez. Uh, and then this too is Desperado which was Sort of a remake come sequel to El Mariachi with Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek and Steve Buscemi and Cheech Marin and Quentin Tarantino and it's just a great great film. First one's enjoyable for what it is but obviously it steps up a gear of Desperado. Shrek preferred. I've got, I'm sure if I've got them all, I've certainly got the first three or four. Um, I've lost, I can't remember how many there are now. Uh, again, Law of Diminishing Returns with Shrek. The first one's great, the second one's nearly as good, third one it's starting to slack a bit. But they're always enjoyable. Saw that in the cinema, I was the only person in the cinema for that one. It was 10 o'clock in the morning, in the midweek, you know. This is a really good film, started for 10. Uh, British film, James McAvoy, Benedict Cumberbatch. Alice Eve, uh, Charles Dance, Rebecca Hall, Mark Gatiss playing Bamba Gascoigne. It's basically they go on University Challenge, um, but obviously it's a lot more than that. But really good film. Tim Burton film Sleepy Hollow. I love Tim Burton. I've got all his films. Yes, uh, Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci. Many other people, uh, Miranda Richardson, Michael Gambon, Casper Van Dien, met all of them, uh, Jeffrey Jones. You can't go wrong with a bit, Tim Burton, Sleepy Hollow, excellent film. Colour of Money, uh, Paul Newman, Tom Cruise, Mary Elizabeth Mastantonio, directed by Martin Scorsese. What can you go wrong with that? Um, sequel to Cool Hand Luke. No, The Hustler, sorry. Sequel to The Hustler, so um, Paul Newman playing Fast Eddie again. Really good film. Uh, I do like Tom Cruise. I know he's, you know, eccentric, shall we say. But I think he's probably my favourite actor. I've got lots of his stuff. Betty Blue. When I was growing up, you have to have Betty Blue. Uh, French film starring the gorgeous... Beatrice Dahl, um, who's very mad, her character, um, and it's sort of the, the story of a love affair, the female half of a relationship is a few sandwiches short of a picnic, shall we say, very erotic, very good film.
Betty Blue. In my, when I was a student, you know, 20% of student flats had the post for Betty Blue on the wall. This is a fun little film, Dish Dogs. Uh, Dish Dogs is a is slang for washer uppers in restaurants. Uh, but it's um, sort of a romantic comedy. Uh, it's got uh, Sean Astin and Matthew Lillard, uh, Brian Dennehy and the lovely Shannon Elizabeth, as you can see from the cover. Pre-boob job. But yeah, it's a good little film. Um, what I haven't already mentioned on previous, on part one, all this, but did in my box sets one, is that these combination of region one and region two. I think that one was a region one. When I first started collecting years and years and years ago, lots of films either A were only coming out in Region 1 or were coming out in Region 1 a lot earlier than they were in Region 2, so I'd often pick them up in Region 1. Uh, Confetti, another British comedy. Uh, it's sort of four strands of people trying to organise weddings. Um, it's a competition for the most original wedding of the year. Uh, sorry, three strands. Um, but it's Brilliant cast, uh, Stephen Mangan, Martin Freeman, Olivia Coleman. Uh, Brain's Gone Dead, Jessica Stevenson, uh, Robert Webb. It's, it's, it's not a wonderful film, but it's enjoyable. <coughs> this, Mr. Producer. Part one, you saw the musical version of the producers. This is the original version of the producers. Mel Brooks's classic film. As I mentioned, just love this film. Story, musical, all of it. It's great. The producers. Oh, yes, yeah, keep going. Dragonheart. Long time since I watched this. Uh, it's a good, enjoyable fantasy film. Dennis Quaid. David Fulis. Pete Possefright, Dina Meyer, Julie Christie, Sean Connery is the voice of a dragon. It's just one of those fun fantasy adventures. One of my favourite films, it's not in my top ten, but it's easily up there. Popeye, I've always loved Popeye as a character anyway, I and mean, then loved this film as soon as it came out, and loved it ever since. Brilliant soundtrack, songs written by Harry Nielsen. Robin Williams was born to play Popeye, in my opinion. Shelley Duvall was definitely born to play Olive Oil. Uh, this is Robert Altman's best film. And this was Region 1. It's a joint release by Disney and Paramount. Paramount in the States and Disney everywhere else, I think. So sort of technically a Disney film, but then again not. But yeah, just love, love, love that film. Uh, Croupier. Which started off as a TV drama and was so good that they made it into a film and gave it a cinematic release. Uh, Clive Owen, Alex Kingston, Kate Hardy, Gina McKee. Clive Owen plays a croupier who gets involved in some criminal activities, shall we say. But yeah, uh, directed by Mike Hodges, who directed Get Carter, amongst other things. Really, really good film. OPA. A great comedy, Clue, which is, if you're not familiar, based on what we over in the UK call Cluedo, and it's called Clue in the States, hence the name. Uh, it's brilliant cast, Tim Curry leads it, uh, Madeline Kahn, Christopher Lloyd, Mike McKean, Leslie Ann Warren, directed by Jonathan Lynn, who is great director and he also wrote it with John Landis. Brilliant credentials. Um, in the cinema it had three different endings and depending on which screening you went to you got a different ending. Um, on the DVD all three endings are included. But it's really good fun slapsticky farcy type film. Uh, I have all of Pixar's films except Coco. I haven't got Coco yet. Uh, the Incredibles. It's a great film. Uh, Kevin Smith and Mark Bernard in on what used to be called Fat Man on Batman is now called Fat Man Beyond. I often cite this as the best Fantastic Four film and I'm inclined to agree. 
because it basically is for Fantastic Four. Pixar's DVDs, especially the earlier ones, full of extras. Uh, a couple more in this one. Great, great film. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Uh, written and directed by Shane Black. I think this is his directorial debut. But he wrote Lethal Weapon and Last Boy Scout. And he is the master of a buddy buddy action film. And this is really good, as I say. Um, Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer uh, trying to solve the. Uh, is it, I, can't, I can't remember if it's a murder or just a disappearance of Michelle Monaghan's sister, anyway. Um, but it's funny, it's exciting, it's just great, great film. And it was voted number nine in Empire Magazine's Best Christmas Movies Ever. Good little horror, Hatchet. Uh, I don't watch a lot of horror, but I, I, I quite enjoy them. Um, this one I got because it's got Mercedes McNabb in it from Buffy and Angel. Played Harmony in Buffy and Angel. Uh, it's got Robert Englund, Tony Todd and Kane Hodder are all in this. You know, it's proper horror credentials and I enjoyed it so much I bought, I bought two of the four, two of the four, two of the three sequels I think there has been but yeah that's Hatchet okay that'll do for part two um thanks for watching like subscribe all that stuff and I'll see you on part three